so now we are going to solve this tensile strength analysis problem these are the condition that we have discussed previously so now let's go to the software so here i'm going to open the ls prepost and first of all we will have to create or import the geometry in our condition we already have a geometry that is of stp format so we need to import that in this software so one way is that you can go to file you can go to import you need to select the proper file format in our case this is step file you will select this in your tensile folder you have this tensile specimen so you can directly open this file from here and also one more way is you can directly drag this file into the software so let's say i will cancel this so in the tensile folder you have tensile specimen what i can do is i can pick up this file and drag and drop so both ways you can follow any of these after that when you import the file software is going to ask for the unit system we are working and also the skill factor so unit system i'm going to work is mm here and the scale factor is 1 in our case means whatever the dimension have the stp file we are going to follow them so click okay from here and you can see our part is import now let's try to rotate this and check various properties of this part so first let's check the dimension of this part so if you go to the geometry from here okay first i will go to view you will go to toolbar you will see icon here you need to click on text and icon so with this it is going to show the name also so here i will go to geometry tools in this geometry tool you will see measure option click on this measure in this measure let's say i want to check the length so automatically you can click on this edge here and here it is going to show the length of this edge you can see this is 3 this bottom one okay so i will clear this from here click on clear similarly you can also check the length here this length so click on this length so this length you can see it is 25 and similarly let's say you want to check the complete distance so you can see there is no line that is connecting the, to this end to this end for this we need to select the distance from point to point so for this i will click on clear then select this point and select this point and you can see this distance is 115 highlighting here similarly you can also check the fillet value so i will clear this just like line and point you can also pick up any surface i pick up the surface it is going to show the radius of the surface is 12.5 it will also show more properties like location of the center and then it, it is also going to show the area okay so i will clear this and let's say i will select this surface so its radius is 7 so in this way you can find the various dimension of the part so i will close this now to solve this kind of problem you can see this is a part of very small thickness so we have two option one is we can solve this by 3d modeling or we can solve this by 2d modeling so advantage of 2d modeling or 2d meshing here is because of the 2d meshing the number of nodes and element will be reduced without compromising the accuracy and solving time will be reduced so in this problem we are going to solve this as a two dimensional problem but right now you can see this is a three dimensional body so to convert this body from three dimension to two dimension we need to extract the middle surface of this body and to this middle surface we are going to apply the thickness in the section properties so we need to extract the middle surface so for this we need to go to let's say in the solid okay not in solid i will go to this surface option and in the surface you will see the command here is 
this one middle surface so click on this middle surface from here here you can see you will see two options surface 1 and surface 2 so basically we need to select two opposite surfaces so you will see option like by surfaces by solid etc so select this pot so select this top surface and rotate this part click on the second window of selecting the surface 2 and select this surface 2 so automatically you can see the location is 50% so exactly at the middle portion a new surface will be generated click on apply click on close so you can see a middle line inside this solid so now we need to hide the solid to hide the solid you will see solid planar face so click on solid make a uncheck on this similarly we don't need this wire option so this planar face contains the geometry of this middle surface if i uncheck on this you can see surface is gone so once again make a check on this so once again click on so now you can see we have extracted the middle surface so it is only a surface so after we extract the middle surface we can continue with the different steps of analysis so first i am going to do the meshing to do the meshing i will go to mesh tool from here element and mesh from here i will go to auto mesh in this auto mesh first let me select this face click on default element size let's say click on compute so it is taking 2.3 size as default in the mesh type i want mixed mixed means mixture of quad and trio element and rest of the properties will be same click on mesh so you can see it is a very good mesh but inside this cross section we need a finer mesh so the reason we need a finer mesh is because all the result will be calculated only inside this cross section smaller cross section and here stretching will also take place so because of this we want a finer mesh so that we can get a much better accurate result so for this we need to apply some more method to make it more fine so what i do i will accept this click on done now you can see two colors so one is for mesh and one is for surface right now we don't want to see the surface so hide this planar face so make and check on this only fem part is showing so now i will have to make this mesh a finer mesh for this we need to apply some more options here you will see element editing so in this element editing okay here go to split in this split you can see i want to split the quad element so these are the options for quad element so let's say i will click on this quad here i will check i will check on retain body so it will retain the other mesh as well so let's see how it is going to split the mesh so zoom out select the area from here select box okay only select the area then hold down the left click of the mouse and select this mesh click on apply now you can see it is a finer mesh so click on accept and done you can see this element has been broken so we have a much finer mesh but the mesh is not finer along the edges you can see these are the trio element we need also have to split them so again there are multiple methods in this pre post to make the mesh much finer i am showing this one method once again we need to go to element edit this time we need to split the trio element here in the middle so i am going to use this option so click on this option highlighting so here first i will have to click on pick and let's say i will pick up this trio okay it has selected all element here i want i don't want to select all so click on reject i want only one by one so rather than selecting by part i will select by edge and select this edge 
Now you can see this trial is splitting like this. Similarly, we need to select each trial element one by one. And we have to click on this opposite middle side so that it is going to split like this. Click on accept. Let's say if you select some wrong, let's say I will click here. Okay, let's say I will click here and if there's some mistake, you can reject this and again select this edge one by one like this. So I will continue doing this. Accept similarly here, this one. So let me do it little quickly. So here this element and this element, this element and accept and done. So now you can see the meshing is done. So after that we need to apply the loads boundary condition. We need to insert the material properties. So we are going to continue this in the next lecture. I'm going to save this part file save as save keyword. So I'm going to save this as let's say this is tensile one underscore one. So you can directly use this file for your reference save and I want to save it.